I am holding in my hands two things actually. One is the brand new released Piper Cherokee, the reintroduction, and the, I think, very classic throwback looking paint scheme, and I'm a fan. The other is today's incorrectly forecasted weather, very cold freezing rain. So because of that, we're gonna put this in the air and avoid the sickness, hopefully, and fly this for you guys and We'll get back inside out of this rain after a nice flight. So let's put it in the air and see how it does. Look at that stabilator on the back of the airplane. That's what I love about the Piper Cherokee. And uh, yeah, it's very scale, looks awesome. The lights are great. We're flying on a 4S2200 and it can take a 4,000 milliamp battery. We've got a 50C in here. Um, man, Abby, I definitely went into the wrong career path, didn't I? Could have been a weatherman and just always been wrong. And, yeah, there you go. Uh, and everybody, before takeoff, please wish Daniel a happy birthday in the comments section. That would be what we're celebrating today. Also the release of the Piper Cherokee. Woo! I need a little bit of uptrend. See that? <laughs> yep. Well, the blue wingtips look great, and it definitely has that awesome look to it, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Very classic Piper look to it, yes. There we go. Oh, that needed some trim. Okay. Um, I had this slap together in about 25 minutes and I was watching a little bit of YouTube and messaging Abby at the time. So it was a very quick and easy build. I think I could have had it together in 20 minutes or less. Very fast. Did sequence. I read no glue required? No glue required. I was that. And then I saw that the lights and everything just click together? Yeah, so this one doesn't have the old school style of uh, servo connections. So you just plug the wing in and it's got the little servo stubs sticking out that go right into the fuselage. Nice. Now, I don't have a lot of elevator authority on this, the way it's set up. Uh, for me, I'd like to actually get more, but uh, just, you know, I like to fly a little more sporty. I think I'll turn my rates up. I do have Expo on. This is the default rates though. Uh, I've got 25% aileron, 25% elevator, 20% rudder, Expo. And I have safe off. I just bound it without safe on. Could have easily done that because it is bind and fly. Can we play a game? Well, sure. Will oh, it yeah, that's great. snap? Yes, yeah, so let's do it. My favorite yeah. game. Okay, so we're just gonna basically let's cook this go. battery. Uh, yeah, pretty good little snap. Not bad. Right into a, uh, let's do a loop. I was low, low to the ground loop. So let's see if we can, yeah, okay, not bad. Good airplane. Okay, so it's a very scale airplane. A lot of guys watching me right now, you know, snapping it and stuff. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, I've seen some Pipers do some crazy things, but I know you can just flap, kick those flaps on. Here we'll go full flaps. We can keep it nice and scale. And if you wanted to, you can fly it in safe and just make it look like a nice, pretty normal scale airplane. If you wanted to do that. I like to keep things a little bit on the wild side. Flying RCs. <laughs> Here's some full throttle messing around. We'll go in and try to snap it as much as we can. Here's full throttle, Abby. That 4S2250C is really nice. Wonder if she'll do uh well, now we can do a hammerhead, but let's see if we can just do a spin. Not, not too great. I, don't, I just need more <laughs> elevator to do some stuff like that. So, you know, it's a really scale flyer. It truly is. It passes like that. That's what makes this thing look awesome. Or of course, what I just did a minute ago, I thought it looked really nice. A touch and go. And here's no flaps. Oh, a little too Ooh. fast. A little too fast. <laughs> we'll, we'll bleed the speed off down here and touch down, touch down, down here. And throttle up and, <laughs> whew, yeah, that snow scared me. <laughs> Um, You're not used to that, are no. you? <laughs> and it had a little bit of a torque pull to it, and I'm still working on that up elevator. If I was hands-free, I'm actually nosing down and banking to the left some. So, you know, it still needs trim. I'm fighting a lot of trim right now. That's because I just bound it without safe on, and it's it's just in, in the air. That throttle's nice, and that climb is nice. Let's see the rudder authority. Can we hammerhead well? It's a scale flyer. That's the best way to put this airplane. It's, you can do some stuff, but it's scale. For me anyway. So what we gain with this update uh, really is just mainly I think visuals, right? But we also have our 
Uh, there's a 70 amp ESC in there, and I can't remember if that's what was in the old one. I'm going to say it was a 60 amp if I had to guess. Uh, and then we have our updated electronics, which gives us telemetry. You could, I plugged in my battery and I got my alarm saying I had a low battery. Uh, don't know why I cleared it. And we should get an alarm when we get a low battery. So I'm kind of just trying to cook this battery for you guys since we had a very fast intro. Give you a decent indication on flight time on this new version. I think it even said there were like lighter weight electronics, I believe. It Which, called the ESC a Spectrum Avion light. light. Oh, okay. That's just because we have limited telemetry there, I believe. I think that's why it's light. So I'm incorrect in saying that they reduce the weight of the electronics. It's just a very similar airplane. I think I like this one more. Red is easier to see, but as far as uh, visuals go and the way it looks and my personal preference, I think I like this scale paint scheme really well. Yeah, yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if I wanted to touch down or... My camera is getting so wet. I know it. <laughs> Cooking the battery, Abby. Cooking the battery. Full throttle climb. Full throttle around. We'll ease off on the throttle coming down. Zero throttle. People like to see stall tendencies. Zero throttling it here. More up elevator and... There's the stall point right there. Not easy to see from our perspective, but here's zero throttle again. More up, more up, more up, more up, and then we let it nose down and we throttle up. And that's one of the best ways to save it from a stall like that. Just like full scale thing. Just nose it down and gain some throttle. You know, the lights look amazing on this. A very good looking airplane it's flying well it's flying scale we're gonna go half flaps cruise it oh, full flaps right here over the runway see how slow we can get her to go coming off of a pretty hot throttle gaining a little bit of throttle here more throttle flaps up more throttle and then what I want to do is land it just because we're getting soaked in this cold wet rain no sense in getting sick we know it's flying good I'll we'll have to bring this back out for another video, another day. That's full flaps. It looks scale, doesn't it, coming in here? Looks that is awesome. really cool. Yeah. Little skim. Sorry about that. Fingers are getting numb. Now, what I like about this airplane is not just the blinking red and green nav lights, but I love the actual wing tip lights as well as that front taxi light. You guys see? That makes that's a big difference having all those lights. You've got the tail light too, but you can see that in the air really well with the additional lights on the tip of the wing. I like those white lights a lot. And that painted stripe on the prop is very nice too. There's a lot to love about this airplane, but very limited time for us today to really appreciate it. So if you want to check it out in more detail, it'll be linked in the description box below and if you're like me and you've just fallen in love with the way this thing looks and you have to have it in your collection or even just as a scale model sitting on the shelf or hanging up from your living room <laughs> which I would do if Abby let me then this will be linked in the description box below know that if you order it using that link it does help to support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you it's a great way to say thanks for making this free content especially in this nasty weather and on Daniel's birthday. <laughs> but we're very grateful for all of your support, whether you're just watching this video, leaving a like, leaving a comment, or actually using our link to help support us and buying your favorite RC toys. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Also, a massive thanks to God for blessing us with a good enough day to fly. It might not be ideal, but we still got to get out here and fly. We could have had wind. It could have been much, much worse. So I'm grateful for today. I'm also grateful for our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do, especially as often as we do it, if not for your amazing support. And we thank you guys so much for thinking of us and helping us out. If you love scale RC planes, we'll have a hand-picked video just for you popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!